All right, now the doctor's strike has now entered its fourth week and it is emerging that patients are opting to seek alternative sources of treatment as wards in public hospitals remain virtually empty. Our reporter Nick Wambua has been on this beat today and now brings us more. The health sector in the country could be headed to a complete paralysis in the threat by the Pharmaceutical Society of Kenya to have a strike on the 3rd of January 2017 is anything to go by. The Pharmaceutical Society of Kenya are threatened to have the strike on the 3rd of January 2017. Following the failure by the government to implement the 2013 CBA signed between the government and the doctors. We never at any particular point said, oh, government should give us 300%. What we said is implement the CBA. This CBA is a document already signed with the government in 2013. So we are not asking for anything new. What we are saying is that what we agreed in 2013, please implement it. Give us an implementation process. We are not going back to work until this CBA is implemented. And this is a document which you have engaged in the last three and a half years. In Kenyatta National Hospital here in Nairobi, and the largest public hospital, it has meant to be a ghost institution. No patients and no doctors. Some of the patients we spoke to say that they have been forced to seek alternative means to get treatment. In Bagadi Hospital, the situation remains the same as Kenyatta National Hospital. No patients and no doctors. Bomet Governor Isaac Ruto is reported to have stomped into a meeting between the KMPDU and the doctors held in Bomet County, aiming to discontinue the meeting. Unfortunately, that the governor could not even come and sit with the doctors and reason out with them why they are on strike. That is resorting to intimidation and a beating and harassment. It's quite unfortunate. But then the question begs, who is going to bring back the lives that are lost within the time period of the strike? Nicholas Ombua, KTN.